All right, guys and gals, we're gonna test the Verizon C-Band N77, 3.7 gigahertz. We're just gonna do a quick range test. We're gonna see how far it'll go. Uh, we got a little bit of a hill here, a little bit of terrain. Uh, so we'll see what the propagation is like. It's good to test it like this. I'm gonna start my, uh, my trip meter here in the car. And this is, I think, where it's gonna probably pick it up. Uh, we'll see here. Get this speed test thing ready. Should start picking it up now. I think we're probably close to two miles away. Let's see, should pick it up. But uh, let me go ahead and reset my meters. All right, we're at zero. And we got it, okay. I'm gonna do a speed test here and we're rolling. All right, now my expectations for this connection in the urban suburban setting, I think we should expect at least a mile and a half. I don't know, maybe it's fair to expect two miles, maybe. I guess it all kind of depends, you know, the density within the area itself. And uh, you will see I am connected to the 5G, use, uh, 5G Ultra Wideband, 5G UW, N77, 3.7 gigahertz for Verizon. All right, we're about a half a mile in. Nope, 0.3 miles maybe, 0.4 miles, okay. All right, so that's what you guys can expect from 0.4 miles away. 272 megabits per second on the downlink, 32 on the uplink. This site just got turned on, literally just came on because I don't even think it was on earlier today. All right, uh, we are just past a half a mile now. We'll run it. 37 ping, six millisecond jitter. We got more capacity. We are closer to the site. We're driving towards it. And then I'll let you guys know when we get to the site and at what distance we were at when it picked it up. All right, we are running Samsung gear here in the Cleveland market, just to give you guys that information. I know some markets have Ericsson gear. I really do feel strongly that is the gold standard of 5G. <laughs> uh, I do think it's better than Samsung, but that's fine. We're getting we're getting gear put up here, you know, radios and antennas, and we're just happy to have it. 364 down, four, uh, 46.9 on the up, 37 ping, 6 millisecond jitter. I'm going to run another test. We are approaching the site now. We're getting pretty close. We are officially at one mile, I believe, now. to the site and we're going up this hill by the way so I don't know if that matters to any of you guys and now we are officially at the site once I stop at this red light here that's going to be the distance I think that's it Let's see if I can get you yep that's it Let's see if I can get you guys a shot up there there's it there it is the gear is right there Okay, and 405 on the down and 61, 1.2 miles testing. I'll be back to test this more. We'll uh, we'll see if the range improves. We'll see, we'll see if it gets a little more optimized. I'm sure they got work to do. I know that crews aren't necessarily happy, the engineering teams with the Samsung gear. Um, I don't know if it's supply, I don't know if it's performance, but this is what we got right now. 405 in the down. 60 on the up. I ain't complaining. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> I remember when the N41 launched for T-Mobile. I was getting like maybe 250 down, you know, and, and like 40 ping. So I, I guess we should kind of expect some bumps along the way, some some early growing pains. But this is pretty good. <laughs> it's It's better than N41 was at launch, I'll tell you guys that much. It needs densification. We need more sites. I'll be testing more of them, obviously. All right, now we're actually on the other side of the tower site. So now we're testing a different sector. This sector has the mall, and it has all of these stores. So it's got way more traffic, and you guys can see that the C-band holding up quite nicely. I know there was a lot of questions about, you know, whatever capacity constraints it could be. All right, and I just lost the connection. All right, 
and it's going to switch to CBRS. There's four CBRS sites up this way. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Verizon does the density thing here in the CLE. I'm telling you. All right, 274 down, 37 on the up as we hand it off to the CBRS. And actually, this is a pretty cool video. I, I'm going to just hand off right here to the CBRS small cell. All right, it's right across the street here. All right. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Verizon's got the most dynamic network in this in the city. All right, now to add insult to injury, you guys are seeing the CBRS. All right, there's not just that small cell, not just that CBRS small cell. There's so there's two back there, and then there's two over here. <laughs> you guys will see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep recording. All right, I'm gonna show you guys this. This is crazy, and I'm not even running it in LTE. If I if I switched it to LTE, the speeds would double because it wouldn't just be aggregating the the low band 5G, the the band five. <laughs> Tell you guys, this is crazy. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Oh man! So the next site is gonna be up here. Uh, dirty from the salt. All right, the next next site's gonna be up here. All right, 240 down. And we got about 59 on the up. I'll show you guys this next site. Small cells galore. And we got a C band. All right, it's right up here on this pole. I don't know if you guys were able to see that from the glare. Oh, and then there's another one across the street. I'll show you guys another one. <laughs> oh, man. I know, I know, it's crazy. Four CBRS small cells and a C band site. What do you, what do you want better than that? 229 on the downlink, 29 on the uplink. All right, here's another CBRS site for you guys. This one I could show you, and I think it'll show in the, even in the dark. <laughs> it's right there. That's number four. We just best the fourth one. Guys, they ain't playing. Verizon is not playing over here. So that, that like, three-mile strip, just look at all the capacity Verizon's put on here. Look. 470, 460, 450, 430. They do big things in LTE and 5G here. It's, it's just, it's, it's wonderful. The name of the game is Density, my good people. Absolutely tremendous from Verizon. And I, I do got to give a big shout out to AT&T. They do good things here. Their upgrades are great. T-Mobile does huge upgrades here too with the M41. I give them all props. I, I feel blessed to be in a city where the carriers can actually deploy and build networks. Not much really gets in the way. Not a lot of NIMBY nonsense goes on over here. Magic happens when carriers are allowed to build. 432 down, 22 up. Thanks for watching this video, guys and gals. Uh, do me a solid, give it a like and a share. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on it. You are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. My Patreon page link is in the description box. Support me there. Get early access to videos, exclusive videos and live streams not found anywhere else. And you can get promos and discounts on Lowe's Mobile just for supporting us. My Twitter handle and email are in the description box. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.